So here we are. Let's go ahead and put it to the test. So to start the breathalyzer, go ahead and hit the button. A vast matey. And you'll notice that it's going to give you a countdown. And the way a breathalyzer works, it's actually a chemical reaction. And so inside this alcohol sensor, there's a heating element. And the alcohol will react with that heating element. And the voltage will change. And then all this does is just read that voltage and correlate that to uh, how much you've had to drink. So it's heating up right now. Let's go ahead and get our alcohol ready here. I've asked you, matey, that be enough for you. Save some for the crew. So that's going to give me the highest reading, obviously, because I stuck the sensor right in there in the bottle. The breathalyzer has four characters. So if I turn the knob here, I can control which character I get. That's kind of a <gasps> spooky character. Good for Halloween parties. That's a pirate. Old English voice, and then all the way over here is a New York cab driver. He's a really mean, really mean guy. Blow, asshole! Nice! Those beer goggles really go well with your outfit. Okay, so just going over a few more features, you'll notice that there's these three colored buttons here. So those are there for you to program to do whatever you want. If you know how to program the Arduino, um, it's quite easy. What we've done is given a few examples on what can be done. So let me hit the yellow button here. Okay, so you get the idea. It's a name that tune. So for uh, copyright reasons, um, the tunes are not included in the product. That you would have to supply your own uh, MP3s for that. But in the sample code, we show you how to program these buttons, and you can do uh, whatever you want. You can add your own MP3s if you want to stick with the name that tune. I know that you. This is a name that movie. To disconnect me. Or you can reprogram those buttons to do whatever you want. Um, completely up to you. All you need to know is a little bit of Arduino programming. So just some other features here. You'll notice there's a toggle switch right here. If I go ahead and flip that, it basically puts it into raw data mode. And what that means simply is it's just showing you the raw data that's being output from our alcohol sensor. And that's the actual value. And if I put this next to, next to some alcohol, you will see that number go up. Um, so that's basically how it works. And so all the software does is it just reads that number relative to what the baseline was and then it determines how much you've had to drink and then of course talks to you. So if you want to see what's going on in terms of the actual raw data coming in from the alcohol sensor, just flip that switch. And if you want to go back to normal mode, just go ahead and flip it back. So you'll notice that there are two USB ports, one on the bottom and one on the top. The one on the top is for charging, so when your battery runs out, just take your USB charger and uh, pop that in there. And you'll notice that the little LED there turns red. When it's done charging, it'll turn green. And then on the bottom, you would use this if you want to reprogram it, if you want to modify the code, tweak it a little bit. Um, it's all open source, so it's very easily done. You just need to know a little bit of Arduino programming. Then just go ahead and plug your USB cable into here, and the other end goes into your computer. The other um, reason why you would use this port is if you want to switch to PC mode. So while in PC mode, this actually becomes tethered to your laptop and has some additional functionality.